Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the US and Soviet Solar Panels Pack being made by forum user Raider Nick, and this is a pretty cool little parts mod, uh, made by a man who has made a lot of parts packs in the past of varieties of different Soviet and US space program parts and a popular thing from all of his different parts packs have been the solar panels from them but some of them have been like permanently attached to their respective crafts and so there was a bit of a call to make a pack of just the solar panels and to remove those permanently attached ones away to be their own independent objects and thus we have this pack of solar panels so let's head on into the VAB to check this out because I'm I really like the look and feel of this mod because A, I love a good parts pack. Who doesn't love having more parts to build with? And B, I just love solar panels in this game. They're great. So we get 10 new solar panels in this parts pack. It, technically, there's more than 10. We'll get to that here in a second. But in the utility tab is where we find all of these different solar panels scattered about. And the reason I say that there's... 10, but technically more, is because, like, say for this Almaz, we have an Almaz left and an Almaz right. So on some of these parts, uh, we have a left and right component, whereas on others, like this EOS AA solar panel, we don't have a left and right, it's just an individual one. So we're there's a bit, a few more than 10. I don't remember exactly how many, but technically, Style-wise, there are 10 styles of solar panels. So we'll start here with the Almaz, which is just a beautiful, large chunk of solar-powered glory. Look at that thing, it is huge! And folds out to a much, much bigger solar panel than you'd expect, and I love the animation on it, which sadly, we can't view in here. I am trying to right-click this right now, and we cannot to get the little contextual menu to extend these here in the VAB. So I have a ship in orbit already with all of these on it, so we can take a look at them full on up there in a moment. Oh, but yes, this is a very cool solar panel. I think, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty actually sure that the Almaz is probably my favorite of these, and it gets quite a bit of electrical charge, 25 per second, of course, providing that you're staring at the sun. Uh, but yes, a good one. We have a left and right component, and uh, yeah, they are quite cool, quite cool indeed. Let's chuck these off and then take a look at the EOS AA solar panel, which is not quite as much electric charge per second. It's only 11, but... Uh, is actually larger than the Almaz solar panel. So this one is smaller when uh, it is folded out, but it gets a lot more, o over double the amount of electrical charge. But this one is beautiful. I really like the look and style of this. Once again, we cannot extend it in here, but we'll take a look at it in a little bit out in space. But yes, very, very cool, very large solar panel. And just, just a quick reference, our largest solar panel we currently have is the Gigantor XL Solar Array. Yeah, that's how big that thing is. <laughs> Compare the size with this. It's it's. There's no contest. This thing is just huge. Oh, and another thing to note, on the design of some of these, it's not sort of flush with the uh, design of the ship as with our standard solar panels are. You can see that this one's attachment point, if we yeah, kind of look from the top down, is actually a bit offset from the center, so you have to keep that in mind with some of these, especially on the next page. We'll get to those in a moment, though, so let's take off... Actually, we'll keep this solar panel on for size comparison, and actually bring back the Almaz. <laughs> There's so much more space to be taken up by this thing, but it's glorious. I love this thing. Uh, we then have the EOS TDRS Solar Array, which is uh, another very, very large solar panel. Um, this one is centered right there, unlike some of the others. And again, very cool animation for its extension. Very, very cool solar panel. I quite enjoy this one. Uh, what is the charge that this one gets? About 10, so a little less than the EOS AA. Uh, and a lot less than the good old Almaz up here. 
And yes, very cool, very large solar panel. The next one we have is the EOS TER solar array. And this one, as you can see right there, is a definitely offset attachment point. And oh boy, it's it's beautiful though. I, I love the look of, well, I love the look of all of these, quite frankly. And yes, it extends out quite nicely. Still can't do the right click contextual menu. And this one also gets 10 charge per second. Now, if we move on to the MAG Solar Array, another offset one. This one, though, our attention points up towards the top. Quite a cool little square there when launched. Very nice. A little bit more streamlined than some of the others we have. And this one is 7.5 electrical charge per second, so we're, we're going downhill here. We're going a, a little bit lower than the others, but still very, very useful solar panels. Uh, we then have the MOL solar array with 2.4 electrical charge per second and much, much smaller. Look at that, baby. That is that is small, inline, and very sleek. Much sleeker than other designs. We then have, yes, the Neo DS solar array, which this is another one that uh, has two. We have the DS and the DWN are uh, comparable arrays, though I'm looking at them rotating. No, actually they are slightly different. I think I'm speaking incorrectly on that. So we'll just grab both of them because they are pretty similar. And uh, ooh, yes, this one's nine per second. And the Neo Dawn or DWN one is 12 per second. So they are different. Never mind. I read that incorrectly. And uh, yes, uh, different attachment points. Once again, a bit offset on things. Very cool though. Very lovely little solar panel designs. We then have the Neo NR Solar Array, which we'll just clip onto there. Very offset. Nice little uh, two attachment point sort of thing there, at least design-wise. It, of course, only has the one actual attachment point, but I love the look of it. Let's grab these babies off because we're about to get to some oddly shaped ones on the next page. And oh yes, these are the ones that have the duplicates. I apologize for saying that this one over here was, but we have on here the Salute 1 left panel, and then the Salute 1 right panel, and then we also have the Soyuz 7K left and Soyuz 7K right, and I, I love the look of these ones, because on the 7Ks you can see they have the little antenna on there. Very, very cool indeed. Not a lot of charge to them though. Uh, both produce a four charge per second. And this one, there we go, kind of fits on triangularly to the side of the ship, kind of clinging on to it. I, I like that design. It's quite cool when you have them attached to like a, uh, you know, a fuel tank or something along those lines. And uh, then, of course, the Soyuz 7K, which is almost identical except for the antenna coming off of it. And, well, I love the look of it. It is very, very cool indeed. But yes, that is all the different solar panels with this pack. So let's exit out of here and go to the tracking station so we can uh, check out my little crappy space station I built with all 10 of these up there. So we have our solar ship. And actually, yeah, let's speed up time a bit so we come back around to the uh, light side of the planet. Probably a useful thing to, you know, be facing the sun when you're looking at solar panels. Uh, there we go, that's good, and let's fly. And uh, yes, I've set all of these, hopefully correctly, to different action groups. So let's uh, turn on the SAS. Oh no, you're already locked there. Very good, very good indeed. And we'll rotate a bit more towards the sun. Perfect. And turn off all this. And uh, on one, I have that Almaz that I love, and oh, look at that thing fold out, and then it folds out again. And I just, I absolutely love the design of this and how it folds out in multiple pieces. It's just like all of these individual panels, you know, folding in and out. It's, it's very, very cool. By far my favorite one of the panels on this thing. And also produces the most electrical charge. And then on two here, we have the next largest one, which just folds out pretty standard-like and very, very cool. Then, uh, of course, tracking towards the sun there. Then on three, we have these that fold out. No additional panels folding out like with the Almaz, but very, very nice indeed. I love the little uh, open sections he uh, here. Gives a nice little, you know, 
variation in the solar panel designs instead of just full solid things. I think it's also another reason I like the Almaz. It's not quite symmetrical. It's got this little notch out here that I don't know why, but I like that. And then, oh, oh, nope, nope, that was three again. Hold on, bring that back out. Then on four, pretty standard, just uh, push along out and unfold itself. And doing a little bit of tracking, pointing ourselves over towards the sun. Very nice. Then on five, we have one of those ones sort of flips up, then turns. Very cool. Oh, nope, I'm still on five. Oh, God. It would help if I could see my keyboard right now. <laughs> But I, I've, I've moved my microphone, and it's made it more difficult for me to see my keyboard. Okay, so six. There we go, just folding out nicely. Much smaller solar panel. And then seven, a very small solar panel. This one with no tracking. So you have to be facing towards the sun for this to be useful. But uh, I, I like the design of it still. Very nice. And why is this vibrating? Huh. You might not be able to see that on the YouTube video, but there's a slight vibration to my crappy little station here. Uh, but there we go. Let's go with uh, 8. That is the Soyuz one with the antenna. I love that design. And on 9, we have another one that has no tracking, just sort of folds out like that. Very nice. And then finally, the 10th panel is the Salyut one without the antenna. Very nice indeed, and combined together, this little space station is making a whole lot of electrical charge. <laughs> this panel alone is 25 per second, so this thing, oh boy, pointed right at the sun, is making a lot. But yes, I love, absolutely love the design of all of these different solar panels. They are very cool. They all have quite nice animations. Definitely the Almaz is my favorite. I just... I just love that. The folding inwards and outwards, and then the sort of accordion in and out. It's it's great. It's just gorgeous. Uh, but yes, all very, very cool solar panels. I would definitely say to go and give these a try yourself, and put them on your space stations, your crafts, whatever, because they are just gorgeous. Uh, but yes, if you would like to try them out, you can check the link in the description, as always. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and that you come back for the next when we will be looking at yet another fun mod. Well, hopefully it's fun at least. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now let's watch that one fold in one more time. Ah, it's so satisfying. I don't know why, but I just love it. <laughs> Alright, later guys.